Kia my name's David Kinane, and in this Scratch Junior tutorial, we're going to be looking at how students can record and export their content for a wider audience. In the last tutorial, I mentioned that one of the things I'm concerned about is apps that don't allow content to be shared wider than the um, iPad that it's created on. So one of the things that I want to show in this next tutorial is the different ways that you can actually share that content. And the first way to do that is something like this in Scratch Junior, which has got animation in it, is to actually video it. Now to switch the video or screen recording function on, um, on the iPad, you swipe from the top uh, right hand corner and you can see here that the uh, red flashing screen record icon is recording everything that I'm saying. But I need to show you how to set that up in the first place if you don't know how to do that. So let's have a look at that. I've come into the settings app um, on my iPad here and we need to go down to the control center. So over here on the left hand side, we've gone to control center and we can see here the top block says including controls and the second block says more controls. Now you can see here that I have uh, enabled my screen recording and if you have that then your screen recording will work but if it's not there you need to know how to turn it on. So I'm going to switch something off, I'm going to switch my torch off and then I'm going to add it but you would add the screen recording function which would be down here in this more control section. So let's say I want to add my torch back. Down here you can see it's got the plus sign next to it. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and it will add the torch feature of my, to my iPad and will add it to the included controls. And once that's done, it allows me to actually make a screen recording. But let me show you something else as well. What do I need to do here is scroll down onto here. Um, sometimes on, depending on which version of the iPad you're using, the, uh, the screen recording will work, but the microphone will be off. And you can fix that by pressing and holding on the record function. And can you see down here, um, it says my microphone is currently on. If, you're, if you have no audio, then you'll need to press and hold that microphone icon to make sure that it is actually turned on so you can hear what's being said. So now that we've done that, just click off this, of this we can come back to whatever it is that we want to record and we can then export it so let's have a look at how to do that the example I'm going to give here is the example as we've been looking at Scratch Junior is actually how to share this piece of work if a student had done it so the first thing I would be doing is pressing the full screen mode um, and then I would turn on the screen record function here press that obviously I'm recording now but if you press that icon when it's black, it gives you a three, two, one countdown, then it's recording. So in which case, as soon as you start record, uh, starts recording, I tap on the screen to hide the menu. And then once that's happened, I then click the green flag. And we can watch my um, animation work. And if you want to make sure that you can see the code as well, you can actually minimize this. And sometimes it's a good idea to do this. Um, let's click on the first scene. So when you watch this, um, the students can do this, click on record again. Um, and I often get the students to then look at how the code blocks go across. If, if you remember in the previous tutorial, I talk, I get the students to talk, to say the sentence of their coding. So if we look on this, you can see when we click on the green flag, each block is highlighted in turn as it's executed. So we just watch this. and you can see each block functioning there. And then the students would then press the stop function here and the video would be saved to your pictures folder. So let's have a look at how to now get that to somewhere else. In my pictures folder here, we can see all my videos that I've been creating as a, as a part of this uh, video tutorial sequence. But let's have a look at this last one I've created. So I'm going to click on the one we've just, just made. I'm gonna click on this one here. And I'm going to click on the share icon over here. And we have all the options that we want to share to. So the first one I want to show you is to share to Seesaw class. And you'll sometimes you'll need to enable that. So if it's not on your list, you'll come to more. And then you scroll down here. And if you add, you will add the ones that you need to add to your list. When you've done that, you just click done. And there's a sliding bar across. But I'm going to click on Seesaw now. So I'm signed into my Seesaw. If it should let me do that. 
who am I going to um, save it as? I will set it as Annie Herder. Click tick. And now that's now being uploaded. My video is now being uploaded to Seesaw. And that's one really quick way of getting the content from your iPad, recording it and getting it sent to a wider audience, which means that, you know, the student's work escapes the iPad and can be um, used again for commenting purposes, for feedback from parents, etc., etc., etc. Using this share function is a really good way of um, using turning apps that are, are, where the students are creating content but doesn't escape from the iPad or doesn't give any kind of teacher feedback. Using that screen record function is a very powerful way to make sure that your students are, um, are accountable for the work that they're creating and also they can share the work that they've created um, to a wider audience. So let's look at that again. I'm going to come back to my folder down here. Let's click on that same one again. Let's say I wanted to share it to a different option. I can share it to my Google Drive. So you could then subsequently put it into a um, into a Google Classroom um, situation. So click on Google Drive in here. You can select your folder, click on My Drive, decide where you want to put it. So I'm going to put it into, let's put it into 20, let's click it on to add-ons here and then save here. And it's now click on upload and that will now upload. So that gets it to my Google Drive. Very simple stuff. Last method for getting content off of an iPad that I want to show you is with the Shadow Puppet app. But I really am not going to actually show you in this tutorial because I'm now going to make a sequence of Shadow Puppet tutorials and I will show you how to do that within the Shadow Puppet tutorials. So be sure to wait and look out for the Shadow Puppet tutorials when they um, hit the YouTube um, uh, feed in the next couple of weeks or so. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at these tutorials for Scratch Junior and these how to share options. Thanks for watching this Sharp Canane Scratch Junior tutorial. Until the next one, Kakitiano.